Wow, wow, oh my God. <laughs> Thank you, Edgar, where did you go? Edgar is a fantastic director, but he's somehow an even nicer, greater human being. And he, he's such a sweet guy. Thank you for doing this. Um, also, thank you, BAFTA people, for making me follow the most charming, adorable shit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> that is not cool. That could have been at the end. Instead, you put me in this position. And that was the nicest... I, I'm convinced every person I've ever met is horrible except for Dick Van Dyke. That was... That was unbelievable. We're all horrible. That's what I... We should all leave home realizing we're awful people, and that man is the only purely good human being we have. Um, uh, this is uh, this is so nice. Look at this is a very nice. I, I don't know if the Stanley Kubrick one looks like Stanley Kubrick. This one they made to look like Charlie Chaplin. Uh, what an honor! Uh, this is a tremendous honor. Um, one thing I hate about honors, though, is um, you can't accept them from home. Uh, I tried. They said it was not possible. Um, <laughs> I asked, they said no, and this is true, okay? I was in London. I was in London and I had to fly to LA from London to accept a fucking British award. That is not cool. I almost wanted to stay in protests. This is true, I was in London I met this lovely woman there. We were having a great time in London, uh, drinking flat whites, uh, eating shepherd's pie, riding the tube, and then who comes in and ruins my amazing British experience? The fucking BAFTAs. I was like, can I send a video? Can I accept that way? They're like, Aziz. John Lithgow is good. Who cares? He probably hates his family and he's looking for an excuse to leave the house. <laughs> Ask him to accept for me. He's going to be there anyway, right? <laughs> and also, we've done all this shit so many times. You wear the tux, you get in, some person comes to your house, puts some gunk in your hair and your face, and you, you get in an SUV, you come here, you eat this fucking awful award show food. <laughs> oh, sir, would you like the chicken or the vet? Whatever's fucking less repulsive, I don't know. <laughs> I ate a big lunch, I prepped, I've done this before. Then you watch the tribute reel of yourself, the most awkward thing in the world. You get mad about the bits they've picked. You imagine people that haven't seen your shit being like, really, this guy? <laughs> and that wasn't that great. <laughs> Dick Van Dyke is like, well, this is funny, but the stuff in the clips, I don't really understand. If Charlie Chaplin saw that tribute reel, he'd be like, Jesus, please, man. Don't give him a fucking award that looks exactly like me, please. All that, all, all that stuff is, is just jokes. Uh, this, is, this is really a very nice thing. No, I, 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 uh, I want to give some genuine thanks to a few people because this is a, a very nice thing to receive. Uh, I want to thank everyone at Netflix. I'm being sincere now. <laughs> I want to thank everyone at Netflix, Ted Sarando, Sidney Holland, the, the whole team there, everyone at uh, NBC Universal, Bob Greenblatt, the whole team for uh, giving me the opportunity with Master of None uh, to make that show and um, all the people I work with all the time, everyone at Master of None, everyone that I work with at Parks and Rec, um, all the, the, the people I work with day to day, uh, Dave Becky, Sharon Jackson, uh, Jody Gottlieb, Melissa Bank, um, everyone, and um, yes. 
uh, and 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 a big thanks to uh, the the people at the Baptist for giving me this. Um, I definitely was sad to leave London and come here in this very ironic <laughs> situation, but um, this is very nice, and uh, I, I will cherish this award. And thank you again to Edgar and everyone else. Uh, thank you so much. Good night. <laughs>